Hello. Okay. Um, I'm here. I'm back from Floyd Yoga Jam. It was amazing. Mark your calendars for next year if you can make it. Do. Um, it's Labor Day weekend. I always get Labor Day and Memorial Day confused, but I believe that's what we just celebrated, which I believe in the labor movement. I should probably have been focused a little bit on that instead of completely distracted by yoga. Um, but I really needed that reset. I haven't really taken any good vacations this year, so... Wow, it was so nice to just de-stress, deep breathe. I mean, after my set, of course, I was a little bit stressed leading up to that, you know, ramping up. I was able to tune into the energy behind kind of the feeling I have before a show. It feels like anxiety, but like a little bit worse. Like I'm a little more prone to maybe crying or <laughs> getting irritated. Um, mostly just want to be alone, you know, or, or focused on getting ready. And I realized that it's, um, it actually felt more like electricity. Like before a lightning bolt comes, there's like this gathering of electrons and then so that was kind of cool to like actually meditate on what I'm feeling when I am gearing up for a show kind of like the nerves the nervousness is and just thinking of it more as electricity and then that made me start to go back into like a witness mode and think of all emotions as neither good nor bad just um this kind of electrical signal, this emotional pulse that moves through us if we step back and identify as something a little bit bigger than our normal small selves. Um, yeah, so that's my little tidbit, this little spiritual tidbit for you. Um, although I never feel like the spiritual stuff is that separate from psychological or from physical health. Um, yeah, it's also connected. Everything is everything, as my one of my favorite bands, Phoenix, likes to say. Everything is everything. The more I talk about it, the less I do control. Something like that. Um, I thought that was a really silly line, and then it got stuck in my head and started becoming useful when I have these thoughts of like everything's connected <laughs> everything is everything <laughs> uh, um, gosh I'm so far from my screen right now that I cannot read the comments uh, oh wait I can see it uh, oh yeah we're trying to figure out oh, those are the comments off of my sound check well Hopefully I can see your comments if they come rolling in. I don't know why that didn't refresh. I'm going to hit refresh and see if that refreshes the chat. Oh. Hi, Moon Madness. Okay, yes, we have the current chat. Thanks for joining me, as always. Glad you're here. <sighs> well, um... Why don't I play a little song? I, I read somewhere that when you live stream, people take like a half hour to show up, <laughs> which I don't know if that's true for us. Like we're, we're mildly punctual, right? But um, I was like, maybe I should do more intro banter or like even a meditation. But I don't know. I kind of just feel like playing the first song. Um, as always, let me know if you have a request of Typically a song I've already played at least once before. Um, but always curious to hear what songs you would want me to play. I found this new effect that 
that I'm going to use um, on this song. So, and I'll try not to blast y'all's ears like I did last time. I sincerely apologize, but I figured out I just have to leave the effect on the piano, and then we should be good.
find what you Lost my water bottle again. Can anyone relate to constantly losing and finding? Oh, beautiful butterfly. <gasps> I'm glad you thought it was magical, moon madness. Yes, I, um, as you probably know, I have changed my project name to Anmara. Um, <laughs> In the email I sent out last night, I said it was five syllables. My old my old name, Anna Beth, Anna Beth McNamara. It's actually seven. I don't know why. I just had remembered it was an odd number with many syllables. But yeah, I used to go by Anna Beth McNamara. Can you McNamara? Say that five times fast. Um, kind of like Lorena McKinnon, but actually lo still longer than that. And then I changed it to Anna Beth. Cause I was feeling like I was in like my Beyonce phase, my Adele phase. I was like, let's do this. I'm a diva. I can hang with these ladies, <laughs> you know, and Annabeth wasn't technically taken. Um, I think there might be one person who used it once, but it's not taken for a reason. I guess it's hard to search for Annabeth and, um, People thought I was Annabeth Sings or just Annabeth McNamara. It was like kind of hard to grasp that it was Annabeth. And at some point I was like, hmm, Anmara could be a, a cool name because McNamara means son of the sea hound. And back in the day, the day, the day, I would have been Nick Anmara, which is daughter of the sea hound, which would be cute and cool. Um, so I've definitely thought about changing my last name to Nick Anmara just to be you know, ancient and ethnic. But um, yeah, so I took the Anmara out of Nick Anmara. I realized today too that Anmara is not the last part of my last name. It's the first part of my first name and the last part of my last name, but it came from An Nick Anmara. Um, yeah, so that's my official explanation of why I'm switching over. It just sounds so magical and interesting and it isn't taken. There is a pasta company and a consulting company called Anmara, but I'm Anmara Music officially, so hopefully they won't come after me for the name. Um, maybe I can, if they make a gluten-free, um, grain-free pasta, I will represent them. <laughs> got no hard feelings I used to live for pasta so uh I would love to play may it be oh, sorry I just like spiked the mic um okay I will play it I want to try it with this new effect I found um yes Nancy it does sound mystical feels like a magical land or a magical woman or a magical soundscape I'm having trouble hydrating. If I don't have soup for breakfast, I need to hit the bottle. Soup for smoothies only, please. Ah, well, thanks for being here again. You're making me feel so happy, seen and heard. I hope you feel seen and heard as well, a little bit, or a lot. Um, okay, let's do May It Be, because that's the only thing I've ever wanted to rehearse lately. I need to do a recording of it, I guess. This is leading somewhere. That's how I'll make it big. All the Enya fans will find me on Spotify.
Hope you can hear the words. I need to get both mics set up like this.
Oh. Welcome to Anmara. <laughs> We're there. We went over the bridge to Terabithia. Actually, haven't seen that, so I don't know if that's good or good or bad. Yes, yes, it's called May It Be. Uh, my bottles are getting better, bigger every time. Yeah, Moon Madness. <laughs> that's probably a good thing to keep me hydrated while I'm singing. Yes, it's a song that Enya does. Somebody requested it a few weeks ago, and I was like, oh, I haven't heard of that Enya song. And it's actually the song when Arwen is crying about something with Aragorn, I think. Um, yeah, it's that poignant scene where I think she's uh, having a vision of their child that they could have. I, I don't really remember, but I was like, oh... That's a pretty song. And then I tried it and I was like, oh, shit, that's pretty. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, I thought it was sounding pretty good from here. But, you know, sometimes in the in the something gets lost in translation. But I was really enjoying how that song is sounding. I Yeah, if you I guess that's the good thing about coming to my live streams is that you can see songs progress through the weeks and you know y'all influence me of what to play and um yeah it's definitely i enjoy the synergy <laughs> i'm guilty for your enya vibe yeah hey me too um i just i wrote that song um coming home to myself and I do feel like with the Enya sounds part, it feels like part of me is coming home. Um, I like that I came at it from kind of a synthy perspective. I didn't realize how much Enya is using keyboard, you know, digital sounds. I mean, I think so. When I listen to some of her songs, um, like the famous ones, I hear something kind of similar to the the aerial harp that I like to use um, and the strings like she probably didn't have an orchestra I'm guessing at her fingertips well not a, not a real one so thirsty I'm out of water oh no oh no uh, I might go get some uh, thank you Michael glad you enjoyed it I guess um, we'll have to see if I can write a song that's somewhat like that. But this chord sequence gets me every time. Like, it's really emotional. That is something I'm not, doesn't come naturally to me, is writing interesting chord sequences. Maybe I should map out what, what it is. Because, um, you know, every every key has eight notes in the scale and then each note is gets a number and there's like relationships between the numbers and like yeah I bet I bet there's some um what's it called the relative minor I teach piano so I should know this <laughs> but um yeah the sixth note of the scale if you play a minor chord there it's usually pretty good I would bet money that they're using that in there um yeah Pulls on the heartstrings, definitely. Whatever, whatever chord concoction they have going. It's working for us. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like my studio, Nancy. Yeah, um, it kind of came together over time. Um, oh, that's funny. This is my cape here. Oh, no, I should have worn my cape for this song. Hold on. Okay, now I just look like a Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> um, Annie Temink, the woman who made my hat, uh, gave me this. It was very generous of her. But she was like, 
she had written on it for your ethereal lifestyle and then she was like oh this is for you so we're debuting it um yes let's let's see this may it be on evening star yeah it works it works okay i like how the hood covers up my headphones <laughs> i'm getting way too many like little bo peep vibes <laughs> Okay, you think it's ethereal? Good, good. Yes, well, I'll have to accessorize it a little better. It's actually really warm. That'll be good for winter. Oh, not good for summer. Oh, sorry, I keep maxing out my mic when I make large noises like that. Um, yeah, we're all still recovering from the Enya song. I'm glad you think it's funny. I agree. Yeah. Studio, my advice is just go one thing at a time, you know. Pick your favorite color, pick your favorite couch, pick your favorite chair, pick your favorite plant, and then before you know it, you have a very self-representative space. Um, yes, I'm happy with it. It was unintentional that it looked this good. <laughs> What song should we do next? Um, oh, wait, I, ha I had a list. I had a set list. Oh, there it is. Hey, let me get Maddie to get me some water. <laughs> hey, Maddie. Oh, I lost him. Hey, Maddie. I think he went outside. Um, I do think I should go get some water. I'm sorry. I will be right back. Stretch your legs. Get some water yourself. Be back in one minute. In the Miracle Mind, Miracle Morning, they they recommend that you drink a glass of water when you wake up, and I don't like doing that, but maybe I should give it a go. I just feel like I can't drink enough water today. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you like my artwork. I think um, Stanton Jams, I was talking to them yesterday, this festival I'm playing in October in Stanton, Virginia. Um, they're going to do an art show in the spring, and they said they would feature my artwork in it, if possible, if possible all goes according to plan so that's been a dream come true because i have long thought like oh maybe i should perform and have an art show at the same time and yeah i want to get more into painting i have not been able i'm like a social painter so i need i need someone to come paint with me okay what song is next you all i'm thinking i'm leaning towards fairy queen or sing a song could try honeycomb. Haven't done that. Haven't practiced that in a while, but um could try calling you over. Uh there's always Ode to a Butterfly, that's fun. Love Song by Elton John. Um Medicine by Daughter is a fun cover. Such Great Heights is always fun. Let me know if any of those sound good to you. <sighs> If I had to pick right now, I would pick Sing a Song because I've just been feeling it lately. Get stuck in my head. I almost want to write new words for it, but the words are pretty good. Okay, we'll do Sing a Song. Sing a Sing a Song. Um, but I'm hoping you guys checked out my new single. Uh, it's now at anmara.bandcamp.com where you can follow me and um, get notified when I have new releases there. 
but um yeah check it out if you haven't yet everyone says it's really good so thanks for letting me know if you did um it's always good to get that feedback when you're like i put so much into this i can't even tell if it's good anymore and then everyone's like it's great you're like whew that's good Tell, 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 oh well At the bottom, oh well, 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 oh well Sound, 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 sound You big, 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 big Won't you big, 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 big On the stage, 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 we just take it down Don't make a sound, 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 sound. 
problem. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, oh, Michael, I'm glad you heard the new song. Thank you. Anyone who's checked it out, it's called Children's Children, which I've played a few times, um, at least on my live streams. still kind of feel like playing Fairy Queen, so maybe I'll do that now. We'll see how it goes. This could be one for the cape. We can see how long it stays up without being buttoned. I feel like the button was overkill. Wonder if I should leave the effect on my piano. I'll just turn the effect down. a lot of reverb. It's like extra dreamy. dolphin move.
his love I can give him all of the love Won't that be dramatically at the perfect moment and apparently so does my crown. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's much better. Well, that was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. <laughs> yes, giggling nonstop as they open each bloom. You can imagine the fairies out there telling little silly jokes, little, little crass fairy humor things. <laughs> yes, yes, Nancy. Um, well, maybe I'll do one more just because, I don't know, you guys are giving me life. I felt a little burnt out. Oh, I rehearsed so much for the festival that I kind of slacked a little this week. So now it's feeling good to dive back into the pool of music with you and play around. I forgot to use my loop pedal on that song, but I think it's fine without it. It just adds a little oomph in the middle.
I'm gonna do mass extinction. So sad we're in a mass extinction. Not everybody knows it. That's why I wanted to write this song because, you know, we get lost in our digital devices. I'm guilty of it myself, obviously. Um, yeah. Not to be doomsday. I don't want, you know, Maddie always talks about how we don't want to go into doomsday proclamations and run around with our heads cut off like the sky is falling. We still need to make centered decisions and... Um, but yeah, we are we are in a mass extinction event. And the sooner we all know that, the sooner we can maybe mitigate it. I'm worried about my little animal friends out there. That's okay. I'm going to start a I'm going to start a religious cult where we pray and save the animals with miracles. I hope that works. I don't know. It's a fictitious cult. It's not really happening. upon a time in a far off corner of a galaxy all alone in the universe hung a small blue pearl teeming with the miracle of material animated by consciousness this pure life force Used with intelligence, came to know itself and arose from deep waters. The long line of babes, birthed through adversity, gave rise to the near impossible existence of unity and society by a mass extinction. Brought us to the brink of the human story, a mass extinction. Destabilized, uncivilized, destabilized, 
Actually, that song is supposed to go into Children's Children. Okay, you can't hear it that well with the, the effect. Oh, ah, I left the, the volume on high on that one. I'm sorry. It's hard for me to keep track of. I did get this pedal that's supposed to kind of regulate my voice. I'll have to listen back and see if it did anything. Um, but yes, hopefully, I'm sure the words were nice and crisp for you. Sorry about that. You get me, Nancy. You get it. I love that. The great butterfly boycott. Oh my gosh. What would we boycott to save the butterflies? I guess anything made with Roundup would be a good place to start. Did you know that um, non-GMO Whole Foods bread <laughs> has like a ton of Roundup in it? It's not GMO, but they still spray it with that stuff because it dries out the wheat. Um, I, it probably keeps it from getting moldy and, and bug eaten and stuff. Just spray a little poison on it and then you can store it forever. Uh, and then people eat it and they're like, why do I feel bad? And butterflies eat it and they are like, why am I extinct? <sighs> what else does Bayer own, Nancy? I don't, I know that name, but. I didn't realize Monsanto was owned by another corporation. Don't like like three corporations own everything now. I love trash talking corporations on live streams because there's no way they can censor it yet. And um, uh, I love just having the right to free speech. I feel like they're coming after it because they know it's bad for business. But the crazy thing is, it's great for business when you support the people of the world and this country is incredibly productive. We have a great work ethic, a uh, great mindset, and um, we've just been kind of beaten down, I think. But everybody could be so much more wealthy if um, we got out from under this little corporate boot. Oh, well, I'm probably preaching to the choir here. Monsanto, and it's in with lots of other baddies like Big Pharma. Speak of the devil. <sighs> I 
I wish I could get Maddie in here. He is like, he spends hours researching. He's a data scientist, so he looks at the trends of, he loves like geopolitical stuff. He's always trying to, I ask him a lot of questions and then he goes and answers them for me and he's very logical. So he'll walk me through it. But like, I'm like, this is amazing. I want to share this with people, but like, I don't, that's not my forte. So I'm just sharing songs and I try to put some messages in the songs, but um, I do like the idea of this live streaming, this little community I'm building. There's like 600 people on my newsletter, which is kind of a lot when you think about it. It's a small, very small town. Um, you know, I think we're capable of informing each other and supporting each other, um, even maybe being a little mini movement. Um, like that time I follow this woman named Yana Yinton and she has like a million followers on YouTube. And at one point she, tr she wanted to save her small village from getting a bunch of, I think it was wind turbines they were going to put in everywhere and it was going to it was going to be bad for the wildlife, the, the reindeer herds and the Sami indigenous people, um, nomadic people. And it was going to be really loud. And she lives in like northern Sweden where she was trying to get away. Anyways, I was really impressed because at one point she activated her entire community to help save her village and the, and the reindeer there. And um, they won. I don't know how much it had to do with her tribe, but I'm sure they got thousands and thousands of letters from people around the world who were deeply invested in Yana and her lifestyle. But yeah, check her out. Yana Jinton. It's Jana Jinton. Um, she's a main inspiration. She's very popular and just, I really admire people who do excellent work. I'm more of an off the cuff kind of person. <laughs> I like hiring people who help me make really good stuff. Um, which is why I love Patreon, because you guys help me pay for technical help. Hmm. Maddie, an info source. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, Michael. Yeah, you go, girl. I don't, I'll be the fearless leader of a group of awesome people who resonate with my music. And by leader, I mean, I, I think of myself more as a conversation starter, perhaps, than... Um, cause I am just a confused human being like all of us. I don't think I have all the answers. I used to, and that was messed up. <laughs> and I learned about the uncertainty principle, um, where the more, you know, the more, you know, you don't know. So <sighs> anyways, let's, thanks for listening to me preach and process and sing and dance around. Um, I think, I think I'm going to take a little break and sign off. Anna V TV, um, but sending you my love. Wind turbines offshore are killing whales and dolphins. Uh, yeah, there's always like a downside to things, but it's okay. We just need to know, and then when we know better, we do better. Um, personally, I think we need to explore nuclear a little bit more. Of course, we need to mine it responsibly, but. Um, yeah, and ultimately, I think we should find all the ways that we can live without using energy inputs and that make life better, like walking more places. And I think that's like a zoning issue sometimes where we can't just have what we need within walking distance. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Hobbiton for all is my dream. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for conversing with me. Um, and keeping hope together. I think, um, you know, I've, I've been sharing a lot on social media and I just really feel like you all have my back and, um, yeah, it gives me hope when there's so many sweet people who care about the planet and each other and let's, let's keep the, let's keep this good thing going. So sending you my love. I'm going to hug you. Mm. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, do something that shows, shows you that you love yourself. And I will too. Okay. Bye.